Uh, he's strong. He's athletic, of course. He's physical. And that's what he did against Nelson. It'll be interesting to see if they come out of a man or a zone against the Railers tonight. It'll be Van Hook and Sakaro. Christian easily wins the opening tip in the Railers. And it's quickly knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Rochester's Grant. And they've done a little scouting, too, uh, Jeff. They've put Grant right on Max Cook, a guy who handles both the ball most for the Railers. Sitting uh, baseline here at Rochester. So if you hear us go off the air any, uh, that's because we're ducking out of the way. Looks like they're going to box and one. No, no, maybe not. Yeah. No, maybe not. Looks like a man. Man to man for the Rockets. Gesner over to Olsen. Railers coming to the basket near us. Van Hook in the corner back out again. It's tipped away by Zab Grant. And Josh, I have a feeling anything that goes to Max, we're going to be saying that a lot. Well, that way by Grant. And Grant's not helping at all. He's staying st strictly on Cook. He's not uh, helping at all. And he's just, uh, he's staying right on. The rest of the Rockets are playing good help defense. And, and he's basically a, a box and one. Pat Belsic on the left side. Christian for three. Hits it from the top of the key. Good set by the Railers. Uh, coach calls out the play and always works well when a, when a big guy hits a three. So Rochester, the ball's going to be knocked around. Nice job by Max as he knocked it off of Sakaro. So, uh, you know, that may be one thing we're looking at, Josh, is defensively, Grant's going to do a very nice job on Cook, but Max, we've seen so far early on, has really caused a lot of trouble defensively for the other team. Yeah, statistician Andy uh, Fitzpatrick right next to me. The Railers have only turned the ball over 72 times, only 74 for the opponent, though. But there's a turnover as uh, Grant takes it away from Cook, and then Max reaches in and tried to take it right back, but Max is going to be whistled for his first foul, first foul on the team. And usually that stat, 72 to 74, is usually a 2 to 1 advantage for the Railers, and uh, as that 72 74, that's pretty, pretty close to being even, and that's not usual by the Railer defense. So after the first foul on the Railers, Rochester with the basketball, Holden, Houston. Right side three up, and that is good from Seth McMinn. So early on, we are tied at three. Todd Belsick to Van Hook. Christian tries for two in a row. Missed it off the back of the rim. Tipped around. Ball comes down to the Railers. Railers will reset with Olsen between the circles to Van Hook on the left side. Back on top to Gesner. Todd Belsick holding against Yek. Yeah, you may not hear a lot by, uh, his name is Cook. Whoa. Nice back cut from Wilson up to Max Cook. Who that's what's, that's what's going to do it. Uh, Zach Grant is all over Cook. Won't let him breathe hardly. And the, the Railers did a good job. Coach Al calls a backdoor play and an easy layup for, for Cook. Six minutes to go. Railers on top, 5-3. That's one of the things you talk about, Josh. You've got to take advantage of the other team's over-aggressive play. Yeah, and the Railers did a good job right there. A couple minutes gone here in our first quarter. Thanks for joining us on a Friday night. Another three up, another three good from McMinn. And the Railers just not rotating. Uh, McMinn two times, two threes, and, you know, they've had a scouting report that McMinn can shoot and uh, can't make Coach happy. Also, lob play coming up to Christian with the catch off the glass and good. That, that, that uh, play we love, Jeff. It's good for six or eight points a game, and there again the Railers get an easy two off of it. Rollers back on top, 7-6. You know, it's interesting, Josh, sitting courtside here on the baseline. You can see that play about four or five seconds before it even happens. Everything's setting up in yeah. Olsen with a nice pass and, to Christian. And you can also hear Coach Angelo from Rochester <laughs> screaming it out, and they still can't get it. Another three. That one's off no good. Grant the rebound. He goes in strong off the glass. Won't go down. Five for the rebound. Three Rockets are there. Ball loose on the floor. Rochester comes out with it. Grant, pull-up jumper on the way. That's left short, no good. Rebound again by Yuck off the glass. Count it, and he is fouled. Josh, that time we just got out worked on the boards. Yep, that's a lack of boxing out and a lack of uh, just going after it. And the Railers didn't go after it. And Christian Van Hook, when he's under there, Max has got to help. Anytime he can go up and get it, he's got to get it. Uh, he, of course, leads the Railers in rebounding at just uh, just over six a game, and uh, we, we need every single one of them. So Matt Yuck, the six-foot senior at the line. Free throw is off no good, and we're going to have a lane violation. Well, I'd imagine that one of the things just gets on the coach out of yeah, you, you almost can see it every time somebody's going to go in early. This, this rule, that when I played it, it was on the release. Now it's hit the rim as really, I don't know what the advantage of it is anymore, but you see a lot more lane violations. 
and the free throw is good. So the lane violation costs the Railers a point. 4.40 to go in our first quarter. It is Rochester with a 9-7 advantage. Gesner on the right side. He's going to drive in, kicks it out to Christian. Nice ball fake. Ball tipped around. Still loose on the floor. Christian picks it up to Pod Belsick in the corner. Olsen swinging around to Gesner. Gesner drives in back to Pods. Pods with a nice move. Steps in. 15-footer on the way. is up and good. Yeah, good pull up. And that's a guy we got to get going. We haven't had Pod. Uh, hasn't been around much. You know, he's been there, but we just haven't gotten the, the, the stuff we've thought out of him. Steele. Christian couldn't get it to go down, but he's going to go to the line shooting too. Nice defense by Christian. And sitting here, you can really see how athletic he is because if I had tried that, I'd be at the chiropractor <laughs> right now. Yeah, Christian did a good job of stealing it. Uh, and that's what the backs got to do. we got to get more turnovers, not only from our guards and our point, but also from our backs. And uh, Christian steps in and, and goes all the way, gets undercut, and couldn't quite make the layup, but uh, going to go for two. And, Jeff, one more thing. We, we've got to go the free throw line more. We're shooting about 73% from the free throw line, but we're not getting there very often. Uh, Van Hook leading the way at, with 15 attempts this year. That's it, 15 attempts in, in uh, six games. Christian missed the first one, but he does get the second one to go down. Railers up 10-9. Christian was six on the evening, just about halfway through our first quarter. Railers are averaging, uh, giving up about 44 points a contest. Houston. Swings it over to the left side to Grant. Grant fires a three wow. and hits again. Christian was right, right on him. I mean, it, a step, half a step quicker, and that shot would have been in the bleachers. So 12-10. And you know, we talked about it, Josh. One of the advantages for Rochester. This is their gym. As Gesner on a pull up leaves it short. Max with the rebound goes up the left hand, flips it over the front of the rim and good. Yeah, good rebound. And the Rams hit the hit the boards on the offensive end a couple times already. Uh, Something we usually don't see, but but uh, a good thing to see. Three and a half to go. We are tied at 12. Number 12, Zach Grant on the right side. Bothered by Pod Belsick. Swing it around. Another three up. Another three in and out. This time, no good. Gesner fighting for the rubber. Ball kicked out of bounds by Grant. And I tell you what, uh, even though McMinn missed that from the corner, Josh, he was wide open yeah, again. Again, their, uh, their big guy underneath had kind of screened off Van Hook to get out on the corner shot, and he was wide open and just rattled out. Olsen to Max on the wing. Max is going to drive in to Christian. Tries to go baseline against Grant, and we've got a foul. We're going to have a foul whistled on Sakara right in front of us with the body. That is their second first on Sakara. Yeah, I think Coach Allen, I think... Uh, Christian has figured out that they can't guard Christian. The guy that's guarding him right now can't guard him on the perimeter, and we've gotten him out on the perimeter a few times. Cook out to Pod Belsick. Swing it around the perimeter. Down to Christian. Christian, pull up from 15. That's off no good. Gesner with a big rebound. Boy, we had a great look at that. Oh, Gesner got whistled for coming over the back, but he was well over. Oh, no. He grabbed the ball. There was no yeah. body at all. So no. Gesner whistled for the foul. No, Gesner just jumped over the top of him, and no box out at all by the Rockets, and we just jumped over the top and unfortunately got whistled for a foul. 2.49 to go, and we've seen Gesner do that a lot this year, crashing the offensive board. That time, he did what he was supposed to, just uh, uh, an angle on the call for the official gets him his first foul. Well, we've talked about it. He hit the weight room in the offseason. He jumps better. He is stronger. Uh, everything about his game is better, and, and the compliments have given him the respect and uh, some, uh, some compliments that he should get for working hard in the offseason. Turnover as it goes through the hands of Holden Houston, so another turnover by the Rockets. 2.30 to go in our first quarter. So, Josh, as the Rollers come down here on this possession, they've got Grant on Cook. Athletically, do they ever have to think about putting Grant on Van Hook? You sure would think about it. He's uh, definitely strong enough. Uh, I don't know about the size. He's tall, you know, being tall enough. Max pull up from 15. In and out, no good. All Rockets there. Houston with the rebound for Rochester. Swinging around to the right side to Grant. McMinn's open, but Christian does a nice job coming out on him, and we've got a timeout that's going to be taken by Coach John Angelo, just a 30, so we will keep it here. 2.04 to go in our first quarter. We are tied at 12 here on a Friday night conference play in the Central State 8, and uh, Josh, on that play right there is our uh, uh, viewers who want to take a look at that on uh, WLCandOnline.com and the uh, online uh, replay. Uh, McMinn's had some open shots from that corner, but Christian did a nice job that time getting out on him, and Christian's really going to have to be the one to force McMinn to uh, alter his shot. 
Well, Coach probably said if you don't get out, you're going to be sitting next to me because uh, it's been three in a row, and he's, he's made two and one rattle in and out. So, uh, you, yeah, you've got to find the shooter. And right now, basically, McMinn is the only one they've got so far that we've seen. And, and you got to get out on him. They're not, uh, they're not big as they've taken out their, their, the guy that started, and they figured out that he can't guard uh, Van Hook. So um, Rochester really small right now, and we'll see if we can take advantage of possibly getting Van Hook in the post. 2.04 to go. It'll be basketball on the sideline, inbounded by the 6'3 McMinn. He has six points. Their leading score, Christian Van Hook leading the way for the Railers. He has six as well. Inbound to Houston. Move it around to Grant. You know, with all the vantage points we have during the season, Josh, we get a good look at how the defense goes, and this vantage point right here really gives you a good idea of how well this railer defense has to move together, you know, five as one, because if one person's out of position, everything breaks down. Yeah, and they're uh, right now they're doing a good job. Really, like we got good. Nice job by Gesner, tipped it away. It's going to be tracked down by Grant. And, and it, it almost this is a this is a big floor. It almost maybe looks like this floor is even bigger than uh, than Roy S. And and especially then you really got to move. So Grant, as we're down to 1:20 to go in the first quarter, again tied at 12. Railers looking to break a three-game losing streak. Rochester looking for win number one on the season. Houston with a little floater, and he uh, drops it off down to Yek, who lays it up and in. Yeah, good job by uh, by Rochester too, just working the basketball and being the patient. I, I think uh, this is the kind of pace that the Rockets uh, the want and would give them the best chance to win. Minute to go. Baylor's down by two. By Belsick curls around, hands off to Olsen. Christian top of the key as Cook's trying to fight through the screen, trying to get through Grant. Olsen barks out the signal. Looks like they're going to try and hold for one. By Belsick comes out to meet the pass. Now on top to Cook. Down to 40 seconds. Gessner to Cook. Back on top to Pod Belsick. Swinging around the right side. Gessner holds now to Olsen. Down under 30. You know, Josh, we talked about Coach Angelo in his uh, first year here, uh, but he's seen this Raider yeah. team many times before, so there's nothing that's going to surprise him. No, he's been at SHG, and he's been a lot of places. In the, I think he was even at Lanphier for a couple of years, and uh, he knows he knows what Coach Al is going to bring to the table. We're down to seven. Pod Belsick. Looking down low to Cook. We're down to three. Down low to Christian. Christian turns in the lane. Little 12 footer. It will not go down, and that's the way our first quarter will end with Rochester on top. At the end of one, it's the Rockets 14, the Railers 12. Back with the second quarter in a moment. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. 